guys, it's King Games here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a N64 emulator and how to configure the settings so you can use a gaming controller as an N64 controller. So go over to Google Chrome and search tool, type in Project 64. Go over to Emulator Zone, the fourth link and download the first one, Project 64 1.6. So after you download it, install it, and yeah. Then after you install it, open up Project 64, and this should be like this. And after that, you should go download your games, and I want to show you how to pirate games. I think you could find that out yourself. And whenever you do, you go to File, go to Open Roam, and I have it specified under the desktop and N64. So these are two games I got, Super Smash Bros. and Zelda. We could go over to Super Smash Bros. and it opens up. So now, what we could do is um, configure our controller, right? What we do is go to Options, and go over to Control Plugin. And after that, you should, um, we, the previous video, I showed you how to connect your PS3 controller to your PC. It would be the same thing after you connect it. It says Xbox Wireless, but it's uh, it's showing it as it's describing it as Xbox, but it's a PS2 controller, and I already have have it set it up. So you basically have to do you have to click it, you have to click here, and then if this is left analog, you go with the left analog and and so on. What I pretty much did was replace the C buttons as the arrows on the PS3 controller on the left. Um, the top right button I use it as R1 on the PS3 controller. Top left button on the N64 but, uh, controller I use as L1. The, con the button on the back on the N64 controller I use it as uh, L2. Um, I use start as start and I use the same analog as the same analog as PS3. And But just to make it easier for you guys, I'm going to save a profile and you guys have to basically load the profile. When you load it, it's going to be called PS3. You click it and press open. But if you would want to customize it, you can customize it yourself. And you press OK. And now we can do is use the controller. And yeah, I'm pressing start, one player mode, one play on pregame. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and bye bye.